The 14A District Court for County Washtenaw State of Michigan is now in session. All those having business before the court draw near, the Honorable J. Cedric Simpson presiding. And good morning. Court does call the case. People versus Logan Turner. Good morning, Your Honor. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, good <laughs> I'll take that as pure joy, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> you can get my face. <laughs> Missy, okay. like MDOC, their video was working when they signed her in, and now their video feed has cut out. But okay. she is unmuted now. Court calls the case of the people versus James Johnson. Yeah, Mr. Johnson, can you state your name? James Johnson. Hey, Miss Fields, can you come up here and see me? Will do. All right, thanks. Preliminary examination will be set for September 6, 2022, 9 a.m. That will be before Judge Perry. Your Honor, if we set that via Zoom, will we be able to get any earlier dates? You'll get that date. You'll have that same judge. You okay. want that in person? It's in person. Okay, we'll just leave it in person. Thank you, Your Honor. Or calls the case, People versus Dominique Olive. Mr. Olive, are you here? He's not checked in. Last time he was smoking whatever and counting money. So he's probably doing that now, just not on film. I did hear about I, that allegation, Your Honor. Hey, oh, allegation? Well, okay. I have to speak you up. You call it an allegation. <laughs> the only allegation as to what he was smoking. I don't think <laughs> that he was or counting money. It's not an allegation. I saw it for myself. All right. <laughs> but he's not here. <laughs> Plus, he's got bond violations because he was testing positive for cocaine on numerous occasions in his last test. He missed. I did get that report, Your Honor. Yes. All of that is shocking. I did attempt to contact Mr. Olive um, without success by phone and email. Bench warrant will issue for defendant's failure to appear bond is set in the amount of $25,000 cash surety. That warrant will issue immediately. Court calls case of the people versus Michael Haywood. All right, Mr. Haywood, can you state your name, please? Michael Haywood. All right. What are we doing? Good morning, Your Honor. I filed a motion to withdraw due to a direct conflict of interest regarding a witness or potential witness in this case that I identified after meeting with Mr. Haywood. As a result, I uh, am unable to continue to represent Mr. Haywood. I would ask the court to permit me to withdraw. Okay, I noticed in the motion that I don't have the um, witness identified or the person identified. Yes, Your Honor. Um, Either we can approach her, I can try and describe this on the record very carefully. Well, however you wish to do it. I mean, I, I need a, if you're, it says there's a conflict, I need to know, much like with the other motions, who the conflict is with. Your Honor, if I identify the conflict who is not listed in the police report, he could be charged with crimes and I've previously represented him. So I'm unable to provide additional information, which would result in discovery to the prosecutor. And the motion's denied. I mean, I, I can't can't do it this way, Ms. Julian. I mean, I have to have some some indication as to what the conflict is. Nigga, she just told your stupid ass. No, 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 Mr. Oh, Haywood. No, you didn't. Bond revoked. We're done. Mr. Haywood. Uh, Bond revoked. Bond I'm revoked. unable to continue. He will sit. This yes, matter is adjourned to, Jan to September 1st. Bond revoked. Your Honor, may I respectfully request to approach regarding my continued I'm done. I'm done. You go talk to your client. He'll never address that court this way. His bond is revoked. You're still his attorney. Motion denied. Mr. Danner, I'll be in touch. Thank you. All righty. That's September 1st, Your Honor? Yeah, can't wait. Thank you. <laughs> okay. No, I've been called a lot of things. I think that's that. You know, it's like high school. Court calls the case, people versus Sean Caldwell. That was a while ago. Actually, I think Mr. Brown called me that one. Sean Caldwell. <laughs> Lauren Brown? Yeah, yeah, it was Lauren, the one that's not here. 
I think Mr. Brown, he heard that bus you just drove <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Mr. Caldwell, can you state your name, please, sir? Uh, Sean Caldwell. <laughs> All right. All right. What are we doing on this? Your Honor, I'm requesting an adjournment of the bond violation hearing. I think he has an exam next week. And Your Honor, um, as the court, I'm sure, recalls, we were here last week for a PCC and the exam was set. Um, at that time, I had let the court know that the defendant had been contacting the victim and requested his phone privileges be revoked. Um, I'm not quite sure how. But his phone privileges weren't revoked immediately, and he was able to contact the victim the afternoon of our court hearing and had a phone conversation with her that I forwarded to Ms. Tang and Mr. Brown um, regarding that he knew he wasn't supposed to contact her. I have the recording. I'm happy to play it for the court if the court wants to hear it. But I thought the court would be interested um, in knowing that that happened not sure what where the delay or the disconnect was, but it does appear to me that it is a, a continued bond violation. I don't know if it's contemptible or what, but I wanted to bring it to the court's attention. Your Honor, I listened, I listened to it, and it's one of those ways that I construe it as when the case is called and the prosecutor and the victim advocate want to hear from the complaining witness about modifying bond, and the complaining witness says, I, I don't want to proceed with the case and I want to have consensual contact or contact and have him home. That's the way I construed it, Your Honor. So if you want to listen to it, and we got a busy docket, that's why I'm requesting. Well, but that was, but the defendant, my understanding is the contact came from the defendant. Yeah, she's, she put money in his account, and she also told him to contact her. Cause, okay. Because he's got a oh, job, Your Honor. No, so, I got that. But what I'm saying is he shouldn't have been doing that regardless of what the subject matter is he shouldn't have been doing that well they we can Which dismiss it now because miss lundy knows that she isn't going to show up and they can't proceed without her i'm not she dismissing the tape. Anything. i it, what i'm saying is whether i listen to the tape or not yeah, that is not the that is not the only violation the violation is the contact itself the, but uh, it, your Honor, if, if you listen to it, she's going to say, I don't want to proceed. I want you home. I got you a job lined up. And, Absolutely. And, and it's going to get dismissed anyway. So I don't, it, I don't know that, Mr. Brown. I, I, Ms. I mean, just I told could me. make that. If I Ms. Lundy make just told you. She, she gave it to me le last night. <laughs> and I listened to it. No, I, what I'm saying is I don't know that it's going to be dismissed. The only thing I can say is she knows at the last hearing, excuse me, at the last hearing, I revoked his privileges. What Ms. Londi is indicating is that day, at least, the defendant, still knowing he was under that prohibition, regardless of what circumstances there were, made contact. That's the problem. Whatever was said, that's to be dealt with at a later time. That's all I'm getting at. But I'm so saying, what do you what do you folks want me to do with this? I want and you, I'm not dismissing. So I want you to continue. I want her to dismiss it because she knows her, her complaint isn't gonna show next week. She heard it on the on the recording. <laughs> she wants him home because he has That's a not gonna happen. So let's have something realistic. What do we what do you want me to do? You want me to set it for exam? So you can get to that point, Mr. Brown? Or there's an exam, I think, watching. next week, Judge. I think there's an exam scheduled next week. That's why I asked. On this case? On this case, I think it's next week, isn't it, Ms. Lund? Is it before me? Can I, can I plead guilty? Can okay. Have okay. I plead guilty to the... Well, yeah. I, I mean, I have... <laughs> he wants me to do that. Here's and then I just do. won't contact I'm going to make sure... Okay, sir... Please. Yeah. I'm what you to need to do is you need to abide by the court's orders. This is already set for an exam. Yeah, the very, the very first thing that Miss Fink told me was not to initiate. Oh. Uh, so I didn't until she initiated. My wife initiated contact with me. Then I continued. I didn't initiate the contact. I followed through with it. So he I just wants to keep admitting to a violent. I mean, why? <laughs> 
I admitted to it as soon as you brought it up last week. I, I, I had no. Okay, but that's why you have an attorney that probably told you to be quiet. Yeah, okay. So I'm just trying to help. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you here. just don't want to listen to that, nor the order that you shouldn't contact. You just don't want to listen to anything. You keep doing it your way. And it's not turning out real well. I'm, I, I could say I didn't contact her. Please, okay. please, please don't say that. We, we, <laughs> I'm not yelling today. Right right Maybe on. you should. Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we all should. No. Well, you can start yelling. What happened to the last guy that yelled? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a bond. All right, so... Your Honor, uh, the, court's, the court's question was, what do I want you to do today? And I just know that how seriously the court takes its bond orders, and I wanted the court yes. to be aware that that contact had happened um, and that you were aware that it had gone on. I wanted to bring it to the court's attention. Uh, I, I hope and I think that the phone privileges have been revoked at this time, so the defendant shouldn't be able to contact her anymore. She has indicated in the phone call she doesn't intend to participate with the prosecution. However, as this court is well aware and Mr. Brown is well aware, it's the state of Michigan versus Sean Caldwell, not the victim of Sean Caldwell. Uh, uh, right. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to dismiss it today. I'm not taking any pleas or anything today. This matter is, I guess, yeah. fortunately, fortunately for me, set for me on Tuesday. So this matter will continue to that time, sir. I'm going to indicate to you. My condition is is that you are not to have contact. Yes, sir. Do not have contact. Yes, sir. The other thing is, I'm going to strongly suggest to you listen to your attorney. Yes, sir. This bond will continue as is, and if the the we will check in to making sure that the privileges are indeed revoked. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. I'm out of files. Yeah, the forensic center, this gentleman is refusing to appear. So it needs that. Uh, okay. So they're not even logged in. Okay. Court does call the case of the people state of Michigan versus Ryan Douglas Mack. All right. We received notification from the forensic center is, is not signed on because Mr. Mack is refusing to be seen. So this would have to be adjourned out. Yeah, I, I, I'd ask the court to adjourn it out a, a few weeks, Your Honor, to allow me to go visit Mr. Mack and uh, consider the next steps in this matter. All right. I'll adjourn it out. Uh, defendant, I just want to mark the file refuses to be seen. Court calls the case of the people versus Shaquille Tubbs. It's O'Neill. Shaquille O'Neill Tubbs. It is. Sir, state your name, sir. Shaquille O'Neill, Anthony Hardaway Tubbs. <laughs> Well, we got more. I think the defendant has several other holds. So at this point, I would think it may be wise to adjourn the probable cause conference so I can consult with the police officer victim in the case and see if we can come to some sort of misdemeanor resolution. I don't know if it'll be possible. Um, or if Miss White is champing at the bit, wants to get it set, then we can get that done. But I believe he does have some holds that uh, maybe out of Van Buren and uh, other Mr. jurisdictions Mr. that they may or may not get them on. I have a misdemeanor. Hold, hold on. What'd you say, Mr. Dubs? I have misdemeanor cases out of other counties. I have no charges that's holding me in this county whatsoever. I got you. Other than this one. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll adjourn it. I'll adjourn these out to September 1st, 2022, 9 a.m. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to say like why why should I be held? On the bond, like I okay, I, I didn't right. violate bond at all. I mean, like I feel like that that's kind of unfair, and I got other things to handle as well. That this I have, I could pay a bond if I could get out there. It's no one who would pay that type of bond for me. That's kind of unfair. That interferes with. Well. Me. Okay, so here's what's unfair. What's unfair is, is that on May 19, you didn't show up. I, so I, I Hold on, hold on, let me finish. I listened to you. You didn't show up. I issued a bench warrant for your appearance because we had given you a personal recognizance back on May 9th. By May 22nd, you didn't show up. May 19th, you didn't show up. So I issued a bench warrant. 
we don't catch up to you and don't have you arraigned again until sometime in August. And then we arraign you, your bond was kept at what I set it at when you didn't appear. Yes, so sir. Then, so hold on. So then we get here and I'm ready to go on the case. Everybody's here now. And when the public defender looks at the file, there is a potential conflict. When that conflict comes up, the public defender was required to then withdraw. Miss White is appointed, as you heard her. It's only been a few minutes, been less than an hour. She gets appointed. She's got to get all of your documentation and all your paperwork to look at. And I understand what you're saying about the bond, but the last time you had a PR, you didn't show up. So I'm going to leave the bond where it is. We'll get to it as soon as we can. You can talk with Ms. White. Ms. White may be able to make a more cogent argument to the court as to why you should be released. But you'll have to talk to her about that. After so she can, I, can I please have a breakout room with Ms. White? I am not giving a breakout room. I've got other people at the jail I got to hear, sir. She'll get over to you. I'll be over to see you. Uh, so how 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 can I make that? How would that be possible? You know, I still have to sit till the first, right? If I it talk depends on you. Need to talk to your to Miss White. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Miss White, how how soon can I talk to you? I will be in. Be over there. I'll Go be ahead. over to see you. I, I I really need I really need you so I can get stuff done. And I, I okay. I All right. I think she understands. I understand. Everybody understands. So the communication's got to happen. I'm done. Thank you. Hey, how you doing, sir? All right, court does call the case of the people versus Nicholas Mercer. Alexander, on behalf of the people, Hello. Hello. defender Kalina Anderson, uh, on behalf of Mr. Mercer, Your Honor, uh, we did have a discussion yesterday when we left. Mr. Mercer indicated that he wished to represent himself, so I would ask if he want to confirm that or if he would like to continue representation. Mr. Mercer. Oh, yeah. How you doing, sir? I mean, she can represent me, but, you know, I can do most of the speaking for myself. Oh. I, so, I'm just going to tell you. I think that maybe you need to have another conversation. Because, no, good, sir. No, just listen. Just listen. All right. All right? Okay. Yeah. Because... You'd have one of the best attorneys this county's got or state's got to offer, and Miss Anderson. Oh, and yeah. then and you're going to do the talking. Yeah, you know, it, uh, nothing against her. It's just, it's just, you know, that's I've been knowing you for a while, and unfortunately, I've been doing this court stuff for a while. So okay, you know. but I know, but you knowing me for a while, how'd that work out? Not good. Yeah, I know. Where are you? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so. Maybe, and maybe that's because when you try to talk to me, you say the wrong thing. And it's possible, but you yeah, know. Yeah, I know. So maybe you need somebody that might be able to say it in a better way. I mean, she could get. But could you get couldn't have anybody, say. you couldn't have anybody better to do it. I'm just telling you. No, I, no I'm not. I'm not disagreeing that, sir. She's fine. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to let her handle it. Yeah. Okay. See? I appreciate right. that, Mr. Mercer. Mr. Thank Anderson, you. I got it. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> Mr. Thank Mercer you was a, for working that out. Um, yeah. he, was, he was about to do something in, in the past that's kind of got him in trouble, and I knew where he right. was kind of headed. So we just had to we just had to talk it out. You, just had to say it. It. <laughs> you did an excellent job, Your Honor. Um, <laughs> Your Honor, I believe the, the issue is he, Mr. Mercer would like for me to ask to have this case dismissed. And we did have a conversation on that. So I'm just asking okay. to have the case dismissed on his behalf. And then I'm ready to proceed after Your Honor makes his decision. Okay. I'm going to deny that request because I can't do that at this point. I'm not going to even ask for a response. It's inappropriate. It would be inappropriate for me to dismiss it at this juncture, Mr. Mercer. Yeah. All right. See, and that's the kind of thing your attorney will say it. She said it in a much nicer way. You would have been coming at me trying to get the case dismissed. Thing would have gotten ugly. You would have had no bond. And it would have just, it would have all gone south. All right. I already don't have a bond. <laughs> I know. But it would have just gotten worse. All right. But I got yeah. you. But I can't do it. So. I know. And I'm you, want to get, 
Your Honor, given that we would request a preliminary exam by Zoom, we would ask for the earliest court date. Uh, Mr. Mercer is being held on another matter. Um, okay. He is being held on another matter. He's being held on another matter. It looks like the uh, estimated date is the 10th. Yeah. Yeah, I got 30 days yesterday. So this is the only other thing I got. Okay, so he won't be out before the 10th. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. You know what? Mr. Mercer said he was going to let you do the talking. He keeps interrupting. We're no counsel, Judge. No, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll, I'll let you two deal with it. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, how about I do this, Mr. Mercer? I'm going to set you for a preliminary examination via Zoom for September 6, 2022. That'll be at 9 a.m., and that will be before Judge Washington. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Bond will You're continue. All set, Mr. Mercer. Have a good one. Hold on. Is he got? Does he have a bond set in this? No. Nah, it's like. It's Hold like, on. Hold on. Hold on. Would you just? You know what? Just stop. Okay. He said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking." Then you just keep talking. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I saw the bond is twenty five thousand. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it was a number so he's getting credit quality time. Yes, you're right. Sitting on dead time. Okay, all right, you're good. All Mr. right, sir. Mercer, you, you look, you look good, you. sir. It looks like you're getting younger. You see, you're looking good. It looks like you're getting younger. I am. He's trying to get on that good list, Judge. <laughs> I'll be on that good list. I'm on the good list. I'll see you later. All right, all right. right. take care, Mr. Have Mercer. Have a good one, Mr. Mercer. We'll be in touch. All right, that, is for that, block. Right. that is it for that block. And I will be back in a few minutes to begin the 11 o'clock block. Court stands in recess. Or calls the case, people versus Tariq Kirk. Bench warrant will issue in both of these matters for the defendant's failure to appear. I would also indicate that there is a bond violation report um, regarding the defendant's test that on 8 4, well, he has a total of 44 missed tests two late tests, and two positive tests. <laughs> so bench warrants will issue for defendant's failure to appear. Bond is setting him on a $25,000 cash surety in each case. Those warrants will issue immediately. And I don't know what happened to your hand, sir. I hope you're doing okay. Well, just don't ever read. When, when, when you have a hedger, a bush hedger, that the blades are still spinning and it's falling off the ladder, don't instinctively try to grab it with one of your hands, okay? Oh, my God. Okay. So, I got I'm gonna you. I'm gonna have my client, Mr. Manier, who's a good uh, landscaper, come over and take care of it next time. So <laughs> yeah, you should have done that. Be should have done that before. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right, you guys. All right, Craig. I'll okay. tell you. All right. Be well. Five staples in my head, blood and everything. A lot of it. No concussion. No. I, and I was forced to go in there and say I was looking for a bowl, of, a box of cereal. Ms. Messenger, please mute yourself. The court's on recess, okay? All right. <laughs> Why this camera looks so good with my hair like this? Usually they got them Panasonic. Maybe to make you look all crazy. Even the mirrors in here, I still don't know how I really look. But my hair looks like it's real, real thin, falling out everywhere. Maybe I'm just getting too old. Uh, Ms. Messenger, you'll need to mute yourself, okay? Mm-hmm. I'll be back. I guess not. <laughs> And what the hell are taking so long, man? It's just taking, I refuse it, man. Look, hey, y'all gonna have to call me back another day, man. It's a wrap. I'm going to lay down. I'm like, y'all take it too long. I'm getting sleepy, man. Call me back, man. I'm rescheduling. Let me know. Ms. Messenger, you need to stay. Okay.
Okay then. No, I re just got rescheduled. I gotta go to bed, man. I'm going to lay down. I'm tired as fuck. I'm refusing. No, I'm refusing. I'm not about to see here. It's taking way too long. Like I ain't getting no sleep two days and I'm ready to go. Come on, let's roll out. I'm refusing my prayer. I hear about your death. I'm the Why are you refusing? Because they're taking too long, all right? Thank you. And I apologize about the delay. Court does call the case. People of the state of Michigan versus Marissa. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to call Messenger first. Kelly Jane Messenger. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. Mike Getty, Assistant Public Defender for Ms. Messenger, Your Honor. Um, <laughs> Your Honor, you just missed her. Um, missed yeah. who? Ms. Messenger. Ms. Messenger. She said you were taking too long, so she went to go take a nap. She said it's a wrap. Call her back a different time. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'd ask the court to adjourn this matter, Your Honor. Um, I did have a chance to meet with her uh, via phone the other day. Okay, um, I was she's, gonna ask ask she's in prison. What she got to go do? I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to ask the court to adjourn it because uh, while we did speak, our conversation came to a productive and before I had to go to court, so before we could finish, so I'd ask the court to adjourn this maybe three or four weeks to uh, allow a video writ to be done. Hey, for the record, that was hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, whoever that was. So what I what I'll do is I'll um, I got other stuff to do. All right. Well, I don't have to see her either, so we'll do the twenty second. <laughs> so, maybe maybe she'll have time then <laughs> September 22nd 2022 9am I, I guess we know where to find her so not a problem <laughs> this is Marissa and I had technical difficulty I just had to call in over the phone I just want to let you guys know that I was back she is I don't seven. know if you called it or not I have not, but I'm about to call it right now. Court does call the case of the people versus Marissa Ians. Thank you, Judge. Uh, thank you for the breakout room in the last block. Uh, I did have a chance to talk to Miss Ians. Uh, she did email me, email me some information, which I did forward to the court and to Mr. Dowett. Uh, I know the court still has to address her bond violation, um, but obviously Miss Ians is hoping the court will consider the information that I did email to the court uh, when addressing her bond situation. Yes, and I I have reviewed the information that you forwarded to the court um, with reference to some of the things that may play or have some bearing. Um, however, I still don't, based upon that, have an explanation regarding the positive or the test um, well, a couple things. Without getting into the specifics of why she wasn't testing, the very fact that she wasn't testing um, she certainly could have contacted community corrections to try to resolve that issue. That being an issue, uh, there was no contact there. Wait till he finishes. Can his hands. Wait till he finishes, and then you can respond. The other thing is, is that there seemed to also be an issue regarding one of her testing prior to the sort of non-testing, where the person blowing into the sober link may not have been the defendant. Um, and so you got, as on first blush, you got somebody. <laughs> attempting to tamper with the method of testing, as I'm looking at this, then not testing. And then once all of a sudden testing starts, I then have a positive test. And even, and I still don't have an explanation for that, but even after having the positive test, there are certain things that defendants are instructed to do once there is a positive test. And that wasn't complied with. So to put it in succinct form, what I have is an individual that looks like they're tampered with the test, then all of a sudden isn't testing, is claiming that the reason they're not testing is because the 
for whatever the reasons are, the machine no longer is in their possession. They get the machine back, test, get a positive test, and then don't follow the instructions that they were given. So within just that, there are numerous violations um, that this defendant has engaged in. So what does she want to tell me? Uh, well, first thing I know she wants to say, Your Honor, is that uh, is that she's apologetic for the situation. Uh, she knows that she did ask Your Honor to put her on the sober link and take her off of the scram tether previously that the court did grant her. She's asking that Your Honor consider putting her back on the scram tether, and then she would not have a risk of failing any test or missing any test again. Additionally, she is working, as the court knows, uh, as a therapist, I believe, and I believe she's on her way to work right now, Your Honor. So she is uh, very much wanting to keep her job. She is the mother of two that she is the sole pro uh, provider for. So she's hoping the court will give her another opportunity as opposed to putting her in jail. Uh, Ms. Ings, is there anything else you want to add in addition to that? Yes, I did contact Mr. Wells and at Community Corrections and asked him if I could be placed back on the tether because it was too much with that sober link uh, and given my domestic violence situation and that whole week was horrific for me mentally. Uh, but I do have, with my therapist job, I have like 40 people on my case load that are dependent on me. Like I'll do the tether. I can do like even weekend jail or something, but I, I can't lose those clients and, and, and that job. And I, and I have my kids and it's is literally she, only me. With those. Is she admitting to all of the violations or is she contesting them? I'm unclear. <laughs> she is definitely admitting to the uh, violation of the positive test on August the 15th, Your Honor. Uh, I guess she would also admit that she did not test during the weeks prior. Uh, and I believe that is, uh, that is what she's stating uh, right here on the record, Your Honor, is that she acknowledges that she failed to test uh, with the explanation that I did provide the court. And after, and also admitting that after the positive test did not do the follow-up test as every 15 minutes as required. That is correct, Your Honor. Yes. Anything I'm sorry, else you I'm, want to I'm, tell I'm, I panicked and I got, I have my own mental health issues. I was trying to revamp my mind and, and do everything with me. And with that domestic violence, but it was, Terrible. Like he took everything. So I had to revamp all my technology, all my phones, new phone numbers. Like it was a lot. And I kind of like can, just tapped out for a second. Ma'am, I can appreciate that. But I can appreciate that with regard to the, the not testing. What I cannot get past is, is that you tested your blue numbers. Then you didn't even follow the instructions that are given to you for retesting um, on that. So we, we have no way of knowing, we caught you at one particular point with a 0.054, but I have no idea where your blood alcohol level was at any given point in time and whether or not you were headed up or down. And the reason I say that is because then on the next day, you just didn't test at all. Between the yeah, no, between after three. After that, it was, I've just panicked. I'm, I'm not touching that machine at all. I'm just going to wait till I go to court. And so I just stopped testing. I have the machine. It's, it's sitting at home. I just didn't want to touch it. Like, I just wanted the alcohol tether back and just go to work and continue my day-to-day -day like I have been doing very fine until that situation happened. Ma'am, you made the choice. I had you on the scram. You requested to do this. You were doing, I guess, okay on the scram. You requested that I change. I yes. changed. And I remember that when you, and you said it, yeah. and you said it. You said, and, and that was I my mistake. You, I, I made it very clear that, that you had to follow that program, and you didn't. And while I might excuse, given the report that I see, the non the not testing might give some excuse the idea that what you can then do is test positive not do the retest as instructed and then decide at least for two days that i'm not doing anything because you're still and that was not a 
you can't make those decisions. So the defendant admit, I will adjourn the probable cause conference. I'm going to adjourn it out just one week to the 25th. to August 25th, 2022, 9 a.m. I'm going to indicate that the defendant admits to the violation. Ma'am, I'm going to order that you are to report to the Washtenaw County Jail. You are to report to the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m. today. You are to be held there pending your Probable cause on the 25th, you're to be held without bond. Failure to report, I will be issuing a bench warrant for your arrest with no bond. So you can come in or we can come get you. So See there's you no way I could just either at least way. do the weekend? Pardon? There's no way I could at least do the, the weekend so I can If you save report my on time, time, you'll be there over the weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Judge.